Uh, I was listening to a podcast today. There's, um, there's a guy called Dan Carlin who does hardcore history. There's some really interesting, well, uh, well-researched and well-worded, like, weird moments from history where he explains them in, like, interesting ways. Okay. But he has, like, a side podcast where he just talks about whatever he feels like. Nice. And um, in that one, he was talking about boxing. And I was like, I don't give a shit about boxing. Um, but I gave him the benefit of the doubt because he's normally makes things interesting. Yeah. Um, and the man, within minutes, I was hooked. He was explaining about how, like, the boxing meta and industry have, like, completely changed. Um, and then he and his mate were talking about whether... Because um, in most sports, you would say that modern athletes would destroy athletes from an earlier era. Right. Like, just in terms of, like... Their, their training and their size and their nutrition and the techniques that have yeah. come from. Like a, an American football player or a basketball player from now is just better than one from 50 years ago. Sure, that makes sense. Um, and in most, most sports, it's the same. But they were trying to make the case that in boxing, those guys from like the 60s and 70s would probably beat today's boxers. Really? Um, despite all of that. Because um, apparently... Like, modern boxers, because of the whole, like, um, agent, you know, like, they've got their agents who, like, determine who's going to fight who. Mm -hmm. Everyone wants to be undefeated, right? Oh, No one okay. wants to risk their undefeated record fighting, like, another good boxer. So most boxing matches, like, one guy's definitely going to win. They're super one-sided. Okay. Um, it's just for the spectacle and the, the hype. And, like... You can become heavyweight champion of the world after fighting like 18, 18 game, 18 bouts over the course of like three or four years. Wow. Whereas back in the day, you'd have to fight two or 300 bouts to get oh, a shot at the fuck. championship. Okay. Like they would have like many, many times more like to get there because there were fewer cups and fewer categories whereas now everything's like really spread out. You've got fewer yeah. boxes across more categories, across more cups. Everyone gets gets a go at it. Um, so I don't know what I'm talking about other than what I've just been told and that might not be true. Um, okay. Wow, chat's got a lot of opinions about boxing. But suddenly, because they were talking, they weren't really talking about boxing specifically, but more about like the, the industry and the, yeah. the nature of it all. I thought it was quite interesting. Yeah, that is kind of kind of rad. Um, like I've got a couple of friends who are very, very into um, the boxing and like MMA and stuff. Mm -hmm. And it's something that I've never really paid a ton of attention to. Um, but like when they talk about it or when they're getting into it, mm -hmm. Like, suddenly I, I'm like, you know, if I did give this some time, I probably feel like I could get into it. I could uh, actually enjoy it. Start to appreciate the, the sport. The, the nuance of it. That, uh... uh <laughs> Bob Sickle says, yeah, look at the old boxers' faces. They clearly got punched a lot more than modern boxers. Also, isn't it like old... In old-timey boxing, mm -hmm. um... Once again, big fucking pinch of salt. Oh, yeah. I talk about my ass a lot. And sure. This is something I definitely don't know Standard about. Standard Tom and Ben disclaimer. <laughs> uh, but, like, oh, ye olde time, uh, when it was, like, bare-knuckle boxing, like, no one ever died from that because you didn't ever really punch people in the head because punching people in the head, if you Hurt break your, your hand, hand. <laughs> yeah. that ends your career. Oh, shit. Uh, whereas it's modern day with actually boxing gloves that... People take a lot of hits to the head, and you have like half a dozen people die a year now in oh, shit. Uh, boxing. It might not be half a dozen, it might be who knows what the number is. Yeah. Uh, but it's significantly more dangerous to do it now. Uh, wow. I just get a lot of a lot of concussion. Man, it's that power creep. The power creep, yeah. You yeah. damage two now <laughs> per punch. Um, so there was, um, with the medieval martial art thing, mm -hmm. so I can't remember if it was in, I think maybe it was in Russia that they were doing this one. And it was like one of the most famous, like the largest ones. And mm -hmm. uh, one of the, like the headline uh, things of it were just like the duels. Like it comes down just one one on one fight. Cause they do these like oh, 25 melees. on 25 melees oh, um, or like, you know, 4v4, 8v8, mm -hmm. like these bigger, bigger ones. But the duels were kind of, really fascinating 
And for the longest time, it was basically guy in just a fucking shitload of armor with a, a, a weapon mm -hmm. and a shield, and they would just fucking clank into each other. Mm -hmm. um, but then one year, this dude turned up, and you can find, I can't remember what it's called, this, uh, this guy just out of nowhere, he turns up, and he's basically wearing no armor Ooh. and just has a, like a club. Like the bronze strap. <laughs> and he just literally runs at the other guy, mm -hmm. jumps and drop kicks him. They both fall over and then he springs he up in right. a split second and then is just hitting this guy with this like metal yeah. club in the head as hard as he physically can. And the guy just instantly gives up. And yeah. he's like, I'm fucked. Yeah, like, there's no I, way out I of that. I cannot win. And oh, that wow. like really, really broke the meta. <laughs> mixed up the meta for like a year or two. How did and they beat the the unarmored? We're both going down, but I'm getting up quicker. Strat. I, th I think basically, after a couple of people took a fucking big hit to the ribs and it just explodes their rib cage, they're like, "It's a it's risky play." <laughs> like, you have to be lucky every time. <laughs> right. um, was pretty Ooh. pretty fucking bonkers. Um, but yeah, it was like a fascinating like uh, thing. I remember watching like a YouTube video about it where they were just talking about you know the style yeah. of fighting, um, how uh, interesting. how this guy like broke the you know what had been the stagnant meta for a couple of years. Um, and it feels really against the spirit of the game to turn up not in armor at a big armored knight fighting tournament. Well, <laughs> the whole I mean? thing was just you've got to be fighting with like the sort of weapons and stuff at the time. <laughs> yeah. And I don't know if it wins, you know, and like, if it makes it a lot more exciting. It's like when someone turns up to a Warhammer Fantasy game with a gun line, and you're oh, like, "Oh yeah, you're like, come oh, on, go fuck yourself." What are we doing here? It's like I could have brought a gun line, but we're playing, you know. Yeah, I wanted to push my regiments of toys into your regiments <laughs> yeah. of toys, and us to have a proper battle. Or you're yes, fighting just like a weird wood elf skirmish army, and you're like, yeah. "This isn't what I signed up for." Yeah, this isn't what I want at all. I do find it kind of funny how. I mean, I don't know anything about the history of boxing, so I might be wrong about this. I'm making a massive assumption. But it feels like boxing started because people wanted to have a fight, but everyone agreed, no, no dick punches, though, right? No, yeah, <laughs> and you slowly add a few rules into it, and then, you know, you got a bit of a sport going on. And then on. 2,000 years later, we're still all just like, yep, let's have a fight, but no dick punching. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because was the boxing meta before that just repeated groin strikes? Oh, I imagine so. It yeah, it was just two guys just wailing on each other's dicks <laughs> until one of them gives up. Uh, <laughs> this meta cannot be beaten. <laughs> this is not bad. <laughs> not bad thing ever. <laughs> We've got to nerf this. Um, yeah, yeah, I imagine. I imagine so. Uh, <laughs> all attack, no defense. All attack, no protect. Oh. <laughs> uh, uh, like, what's the deal with MMA? Like, that's kind of an anything goes situation. Right? No, so um, there must be some rules. No eye poking, I guess. Yeah, but um, uh, so this is once again, I'm giving you secondhand information from friends of mine. Sure. Who uh, I think they're more into MMA than boxing, even though they really like, they still love boxing. Mm -hmm. um, but they're like, oh, MMA is just. They think it's like a better, more, there's more tactics and. Mm. Uh, You've got all the different holds that are quite strategic, aren't they? About maneuvering into positions to yeah, do different kind of holds. Although it's like a more violent thing. Once again, I'm speaking out of my ass here. Yeah. Although it is like, you know, more violent, violent looking, um, it's a lot more regulated on, like, you know, Someone is there to like stop around right. faster. The moment and, it gets dangerous, they to pull the plug. And like no one has died in it yet. Oh really? Um, especially when you compare it to boxing, where a lot of people have died. Yeah. Um, that is interesting. Uh, but once again, not an expert by any means. 